thank you uh, very, very much for joining us. Uh, we'll uh, have Nathan Baird be our leadoff hitter for this one. Nathan. Hey, Cade. Uh, kind of maybe take us through what this last year has been like for you and making the transition from, I think, someone that everybody respected as a football player to a, a tight end who can help this offense. Uh, that's a good question. It was, it was tough at first, I guess. Uh, but, I mean, coming from the offensive side of the ball in high school, Helped me out a lot. Uh, once I got the ball back in my hands and got through the mental part of it, it uh, went pretty smoothly. All righty, let's go next to Dan Hope, 11 Warriors. Yeah, Cade, what do you think are the biggest things that, you know, maybe you didn't know about playing tight end at this time last year, but you've now improved on now that you have a year of development under your belt? Uh, just the whole mental aspect of it. I mean, high school, uh, it was pretty much just uh, give you the ball and you find space and do it yourself. I mean, here, I mean, a lot more. I mean, you're a lot more under control, a lot more rules you got to follow here, and uh, you got to play within the system. All right, we'll go next to Austin Ward. Austin? Kid, we saw you in that, you know, first week of spring a year ago, and they were, it looked like you were catching the football a lot and making an impact, but we knew there was a long way for you to go, and then everything disappeared for a long time. And how, how did you feel like the setbacks and the schedule for last year impacted you as you were trying to make, you know, a little bit of a transition there? Oh, I didn't really look at it as a setback, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, I got, I was, I was home. I was working out there. I was working, I mean, I was working just as hard as I would be here, just without the practice, I guess. So, I mean, it definitely hurt not having it, but I mean, nothing I can do about it, nothing anybody can do about it. So I just took that one step at a time. All righty, let's go next to Bill Rabinowitz from the Columbus Dispatch. Hi, Cade. Uh, as lost a couple of good players from your unit last year. How big a role do you think you can have? Obviously, Jeremy's a holdover, but but there's opportunity there. How how much do you think? Uh, how much do you want to seize that? I mean, as I always want to seize it. Uh, I mean, goals here is, I mean, you don't. I mean, just help the team as much as you can. Do it, uh, whatever's possible for me to help this team win. So if that's a big role, that's a big role. Alrighty, next we'll go to Joey Kaufman from the Columbus Dispatch. Joey, Mitch and. Uh, the coaching staff has kind of talked about kind of the need to, to find that, that second tight end to, to, to play more 12 personnel. Is that, is that something that, that you have, have really kind of taken to heart as well? I mean, yeah, I'm taking every rep I get, um, making the most of it, and we're sure to go from there and see where that goes. All right, next up, uh, Tim May. Tim? Yeah, Kate, uh, I was wondering, when you get the ball in your hands, uh, what, what just goes through your mind, and is it, is, you know, obviously, although you were trying to play defense at one point, you're back on the offensive side, obviously. But uh, what is that transformation almost you go through mentally when you've got the ball in your hands? And uh, what tractor would you uh, compare it to? What tractor I would I compare it to? <laughs> yeah, I'm just messing yeah. there. <laughs> no, that's a good question. Probably a JCB fast track tractor. That's probably the fastest tractor. So, but Is no. that the one with the, with the treads on it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a big yeah. one. But, well, uh, go ahead, though. I mean, what, what, what is it like when you've got the ball in your hands? Do you, uh, do you feel more like a football player? I don't know. Explain it. I feel good. I've, I've always, I just, I've looked at myself as always. I mean, sometimes uh, people say, I mean, versatility can get you in trouble because you get pulled around in different positions, I guess. But uh, I mean, I think I found the home here and I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm comfortable with the ball in my hands in space. And just like high school and running back days, I feel, I feel good with the ball in my hands. Thanks, man. I already got time for two more. We'll uh, first go to Patrick Murphy. Patrick. Did we hear a lot about tight ends have to be able to block and then kind of the receiving part comes afterwards. Jeremy was talking about how he, you know, continues to work on that. What area was, was most difficult for you when you got to the offensive side of the ball and how do you feel you've improved since? Uh, I'd say um, more of the route running was because I was never really, I never really ran routes. I never played tight end before. So that was uh, as far as getting your footwork right and stuff like that. Uh, the block, blocking, once I got my footwork down, I had the physicality. So, I mean, that's always helped me coming over from the defensive side. So, I'd say the blocking was, I mean, the receiving was probably the biggest learning curve there was. All righty, Kate, we'll wrap it up with Griffin Strom. Griffin. Hey, Kate, I'm just wondering, I know you said it was tough at first. Um, can you walk us through what your, what your like, first reaction was when you were first told? Um, that you were going to be in positions in. And was there anything frustrating about that for you, um, knowing you'd have to, to learn a position that you um, weren't, you know, already playing? Uh, no, it wasn't, it wasn't frustrating. I mean, yeah, there were frustrating moments along the way, but, I mean, that comes with everything. Uh, I looked at it, I mean, it was, I enjoyed learning a different position and learning new stuff. And, I mean, just expanding my knowledge of the game and just getting better preparing for the future. 
Awesome. Thank you very much, Cade. Really appreciate your time today. Thank you.